That's gonna be the starting shot, isn't it? I don't know. Hello. Greetings. It's Caleb from the hit YouTube channel Classy Whale, which is rapidly gaining in subscribers, and you should be one of them. Yes, you should. We are at Franklin Square in Philadelphia, and it is 31 degrees. I feel like there's nothing better to do than go to Atlantic City. And since this is miles in transit, we have to do the cheapest way to Atlantic City. The only problem is, it's really hard to tell what the cheapest way to Atlantic City is. We had to think this through, and so Caleb drew up a nice diagram that will help us figure this out. Yes, the uh, cheapest way to Atlantic City, it's very confusing. The first possible option is the bus, which is $18. So you could also take Greyhound, which with the service fee would be about $12 to $17. And since today is Sunday, it's about $17. You could also take the Atlantic City Line from 30th Street Station for about $10.75. And that's actually something you could book on Amtrak as well to get the Amtrak points. So technically, the money you'd make back from the Amtrak points would mean it would be a little bit less. It's also crossed off of the bus. So if you were a bus fan, then you can take the bus for 1075 with an Amtrak ticket, I think. So if you don't want to deal with any of that weird cross-honoring stuff, you could go a proper cheapest way type crazy way and do Paco to Camden and then take a JT bus, which would be about 935. That might be too many transfers. I feel like it's worth mentioning, you can get a $20 round trip ticket on the bus and uh, each way is $10, that then makes that the uh, cheapest one seat ride to Atlantic City. Which is also valid on the train. We thought that this was the layout, but then we realized there is actually a potentially cheaper way, and this is all very potential. I will say, before I turn the page here, to my middle schoolers who watch my channel and probably this video, do not try this at home. Actually, you are too young to try this at home, so stay with me. Anyways, the Greyhound Lucky Street Bus, which is the same cost as a Greyhound, 12 to 17 dollars, but they give you a $20 gambling credit at an Atlantic City casino. Here's the casino credit. This is the kind of thing that they'll look at and be like, what the heck is this? We're gonna try to make a profit off of Greyhound because that would be cheaper than paying anything. So the cheapest route um, without the gambling bus is bus Ten, and Or Paco, I guess technically bus and Paco, which yeah. Which is $9.35. We paid $17 for our ticket, so we would need to win um, something like $8 in order to have the official cheapest way to Atlantic City. But we'll see. I mean, $8 off of $20 is 40 percent So like, that seems possible, right? I mean, anything is technically possible. A, uh, a meteor could fall right into Franklin Square in the next 30 seconds, that's possible. That's the spirit, Caleb! <laughs> Here we are in the Greyhound station. You will note that the bus to Atlantic City, the gate number says C agent. Caleb, should we do something about that? Perhaps we should see an agent. I guess it's line A. We are two minutes late, which is not bad. Yeah, not bad for Greyhound. Although, we should point out here that you can't actually day trip to Atlantic City on Greyhound. Right. There's a once a day trip to Atlantic City and then it doesn't come back, which is why probably like two people go on in Philadelphia. <laughs> it's also worth knowing that this bus does come from DC, so that's right. actually decent, and that makes more sense, that's like a longer trip, so you're gonna make more of a journey out of it. There was a really nice river there, and I couldn't get it in time. That's a mood. So, I've never done this before, so I think I'm gonna need some help. How to gamble. You gotta know when to fold them, no one to hold them, no one to walk away, and no one to run. Because you see, you never, you never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. Well, that's the song. We are literally doing research because we are hopeless. Indeed. Here is the Farley Service Plaza, which, fun fact, a couple of random NJT 551s just pull into and stop at. I don't know why anyone would get on the bus there, but that's an option. We've been awkwardly sitting in the Caesars bus terminal. No doors have opened yet. We realized that we're 20 minutes early, a little over 20 minutes early. Yes. Wouldn't it be funny if they just didn't let us off until the arrival time? No, it would be torture. 
Big chaotic. We're in line to redeem our uh, our casino receipt thing. So now we get a nicer card that says it's not a rewards card. Right. And we now graduate to this second line where I guess we get our true rewards card. This is quite the system. It's a nice bus terminal. I just, well, it's not nice, but it's substantial. Substantial, yes. <laughs> So we got these very fancy cars with our names on them. That's wild. We also get uh, 10 additional dollars from getting new account, which doesn't count toward the Greyhound thing, I don't think. Right. Um, but the $20 on this takes about half an hour to register, so I think we should get lunch for that. I thought she was saying that $10 for the food takes about I couldn't hear half of what the person was saying. There's a lot of money being thrown around already, and we haven't even started gambling yet. So we've gone upstairs, there's the parking lot, and now we're crossing this mirrored footbridge wow. to get to the casino itself. I think that's the Atlantic City Convention Center, which is actually home to the world's largest pipe organ. Welcome to Ancient Rome. Golden Ramsey Pub and Grill. This steak is raw. Get out of my kitchen. Look at all the statues up there. I know, right? Like, it's insane. You get 1,000 credits when you come here. And the conversion ratio of credits to dollars is just not very well described. The employees weren't really sure. This water bottle is $5.30. I'm going to go check my credit balance oh, and see no. uh, how much of a hit that took. So now I have zero reward credits for this bottle of water. A thousand reward credits for one measly bottle of water. So we've been wandering around this casino trying to figure out how the Greyhound money works and how to get it onto our cards. Yeah, it's still not on our card and it's been more than half an hour. Yeah. So the casino is just very confusing in general. It has several help desks for different things. Yes, and none of them are very So we went to the labels. incorrect help desk several times. Yes. We're now going to the correct help desk, hopefully. So Caesar's messing with us, Caleb. We were so excited to do like craps and roulette to get decent odds, but it's Greyhound or Caesar's or someone decided that the 20 bucks is only valid in slot machines, and therefore we have basically zero odds of possibly getting the eight-ish dollars we need for this to be the cheapest way. Now, to be fair, they did say it was only for slots, and both of us missed it. I couldn't hear half of what the person was saying. It's not not to fault them for being deceptive, they're just being... Just to fault them for a crummy uh, business I guess it's free money, but it's also like free money that you're just going to throw away into a slot machine. Right. Okay, so update. You can do it. You get two rounds, so you get you can put ten dollars in and then another ten dollars in. Right. So we did ten dollars with like an old school slot machine lever. Mm -hmm. Bam, bam, bam. Not that any of it is particularly fun, but there's definitely a thrill of some kind to it, especially since it's not our money. Yes. It is yes, Greyhound's yes. money. I, I would like to stress here: only ever gamble credit that you're given. Never gamble right. your own money. It is not smart. But I will say we have made. A decent amount of cash so far. Yes, we have. I've made about five bucks. And I've made 625. And remember, our, our minimum is eight to be able to have this be the cheapest way to Atlantic City. Right. So we have 10 more dollars each to gamble. So we'll update you. And just remember, we spent 10 and received less. So it's a bad investment, but it's not our money. We've wandered to this empty corridor to discuss our winnings and yes. losings. I have achieved the cheapest possible route. Well, not the cheapest possible, but... You could have won like a million dollars. But still. You have achieved the cheapest route of the ones shown at the beginning of this uh, yes. video. I won $10.25. If wow. you do the math on the $17 Greyhound ticket, that means my net loss was only $6.75, which is cheaper than the Patco to Camden and then the bus the rest of the way here. Right. However, Miles had a bit of a different experience. On my second $10, I did not win a single cent from that whole second $10. So therefore, my winnings stand at $6.25, which brings my cost down to $10.75, which means we literally could have just taken the train down. Or I could have literally just taken the train down and had a fun train experience instead of being stuck on Greyhound. And then stuck in a smoky casino. Yeah. Now, the math lesson here is that even though I won, it's basically the same thing as me cutting a $20 bill in half and then being like, oh look, I have $10. So right. moral of the story, don't play slot machines. 
yeah, it's such a waste of money. I was remarking on how it took like five minutes and twenty dollars just totally gone. Well, since this is a Miles video, should we uh, finish up with a iconic food review? Sure.